Than everybody it's Thursday start of the hunting week so I am on the hunt right now um, still you know out there searching for that Captain America wherever he is I do have a UPC number now um, I am checking brick seek every morning to make sure that when it does come up in stock I will catch it and I can go and get it um, from what I'm told I believe it's hitting my area this week so keeping my fingers crossed um the next wave of the marvel legends figures have came out so uh, i'm trying to track down those because the build a figure one on that is a hulk and i don't have a hulk and i'd like to have one so i think that would be pretty cool and i definitely want that war machine that war machine looks sick and the rescue look really cool um on the fence about the others but you know you gotta buy them if you want to build the figure so that's where i'm at um and yeah and as far as pops goes we're still keeping an eye out to see what the story is with the Chrome Hulk um, <clears throat> and anything else that's coming out. I believe that um, that Lion King box came out today that has the, the two variants of scars, obviously one being green, one being red, the red one being the chase, but I'm not really interested in the Disney stuff, so that's, a, that's an easy pass for me. Um, yeah, so I th they did, however, start to make some announcements as far as... Um, San Diego Comic-Con goes. So I was reading something this morning that said they're going to have 75 exclusives and Funko's going to have two booths at San Diego this year. Well, you think if you're having 75 exclusives, you would need more space. So clearly they're doing the right thing. Um, they released this one of a, a, a toucan that's supposed to be a Comic-Con 50 years bird. And then they released this other, this other image of one with... Um, Batman in the 80 years box which is really cool because I like those boxes and he's Batman and he's got a San Diego Comic Con shopping bag so who knows so right now I'm out of work I am on my way up to a GameStop in Palm Beach from what I'm told is a half GameStop half Think Geek so it's kind of like a hybrid store so somebody messaged me the other day on Instagram, told me about this. So I'm kind of interested to see what that store is all about. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So I will hit you guys up once I get there. All right, so it's starting to rain out, which sucks. But I'm here in North Palm Beach at this GameStop that I haven't been to before. So let's go inside and see what they got. All right, so I'm here at their pop wall right now. So they've got uh, Batman and Robin. they got all the Hush ones right there. Got Batman and Green Lantern, Batmobile. Don't see anything that's, you know, out of the normal. Got the stealth suit, they got the Kiss Pops. Cousin It. I actually always liked that Mary Jane. It was cool because she was holding the um, Spider Man doll. Got Pretty Woman. Spider-Man was cool. I got him last week. And of course there's Molten Man. Every time I see this I get frustrated because of freaking what Walmart did to me on the shipping. And I got the Stay Puff up top. And I got a whole bunch of the t-shirt boxes, which is pretty cool. And then over here they got their Marvel section. So let's see what they got in their Marvel Legends section. Forge. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the same stuff. Storm. Puma. Nah. 
You got the Joker figure, which I just did the review on, which was really cool. I also got the Penguin one, too. Alright. Got some more of these Batman statues up there, which is pretty cool. And then that Hydra 2-pack. Man, this one's also got Legos, too. This is kind of like a... Like a hybrid store, which is kind of neat. So, all right, well, let me keep looking around. Let me see if I find anything else, and I'll let you guys know. All right, so that GameStop was actually pretty cool. It definitely is a hybrid store, which is really interesting. Um, they didn't get the wave in. I asked the guy behind the counter, so they didn't have anything. So, right now, I'm here outside of a, uh, if the camera would flip, a Walgreens, and I'm gonna go inside and see what they got. Wow, this is rough as usual. Again, nothing out of the ordinary when you come to Walgreens. What do they got? They got, who is that? Sinister Villains, whoever that is. Medusa. We got a whole bunch of them back there, Jesus. And yeah, so hooray for me. That's cool. Hot Wheels. Got the, uh, the bat. What's what I got? Uh, Alright. Uh, there's a Target across the street, so let's go there. Alright, so I'm here right now at Target. This is a new Target that I've never been to before, so I'm actually kind of interested to see what I can find in here, and maybe we'll have some luck since it's a new Target. So let's go inside and see what they got. Alright, so I'm here now at their pop wall which is a little on the small side but again a lot of the same stuff I see so let's keep looking through and see if I got anything different let's see what they got You know, again, you know, as always, when we come to these places, it's a lot of the same old stuff. They got some two-packs there, and they got the Wicked Aquaman box and the Batman box. But over here in the NECA section, they got some really cool stuff, because they got these um, Ninja Turtles right here. So they got Michelangelo and the Foot Soldier, and uh, Donatello and Krang, which are really cool. So, I don't know. They got the Game of Thrones stuff. So, yeah. All right, well, let me flip the camera around. God forbid it should work for a change. Uh, let me go check out the Marvel Legends section. All right, so I'm here at the Marvel Legends section right now. And, of course, it's a lot of the same old stuff. Ant-Man, Wasp, Gwenpool, Captain Marvel stuff. Um, they got the uh, Spider-Man and uh, Kraven two-pack, which is pretty cool. They got the uh, Deadpool with the scooter. And then they also got the um, Spider-Man Homecoming with uh, Spider-Man and uh, MJ. I don't know. It was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. So, um, I guess I'll start to head back south and uh, see where I'm going to stop next. All right, guys. So, I'm back in my area right now. And I decided to stop at one more place, which is a game stop I haven't been to in a while. So... Let's go into this game stop and see if they got anything. Okay, right, so we're here at the pop wall right now. And I already do see something that I want because I need it to go into my display case for my X-Men. So let's look around. First of all, there's one thing I'll be getting right there, that Wolverine. I need that for my display. Oh, they got uh, Mr. Bean in his pajamas. Let's see what else they got. The gold chrome hulk. I definitely want to grab that, so I have that. And I got SpongeBob. And 
around and just dropping stuff all over the place. And I got a Bulbasaur over there. Let's see what else I got. And it looks like a lot of the same old stuff. Got Maggie. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the same stuff. Nothing uh, nothing too nothing too crazy. Oh look at that. They got uh didn't even see that. They started getting the police pops in so they got sting. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, this is for certain. Um, let me go, uh, let me go see what they got from Marvel Legends. Okay, so it looks like a lot of the same old stuff. Yeah, it's all like Deadpools and some of those Spider-Mans and... Got the uh, Iron Man. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, nothing special right home about. Oh, they got this um, X23, which is pretty cool. They got uh, that Joker, which is pretty neat. And that Ronin, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that is about it. So, score. We got the Wolverine. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, and that is awesome. I'm super glad I found that Wolverine. You know, as you guys saw from previous stuff, I'm working on my baseball bat display case, and I'm filling them with the X-Men Pops. So I definitely needed that Wolverine, which is awesome. So, you know, right place at the right time, as always. Um, however, I did forget to mention that I did get two packages in. So uh, once I get home, I'll show you guys the Wolverine and I will go ahead and open up the packages and show you what I got. So I'll see you then. All right, guys. So I am back home. So I'm here right now with the Wolverine. We're going to take it out of the box and we're going to put it in the uh, display case. Oh, I can be a little rough with this. I don't really... Okay, this is for the display case anyway. The box has a little bit of damage anyway, so I don't care. So, there we go. Wolverine, he's out. And we are lifting up the display case. And he is now in. We'll just slightly move him over. And bam. So you can see we got Storm, Phoenix, Colossus, Iceman, Archangel, Wolverine. So there's still some that we're missing, and I'm on the hunt for them, but like I also said in the car, I got two packages in that are sitting right over here, so let's go ahead and sit down and get those unboxed. So Wolverine is now happily in the display case where he belongs. We've got two boxes right here, so let's go ahead, open them up, and see what I got. I order so much stuff sometimes that I forget what comes in. So this is from Hot Topic. So let's crack this open and see what we got. Ah, very cool. Very, very, very cool. Do that, so let's pull this out, put that to the side, and we got the Last, I guess, of the glow-in-the-dark shirts that we needed. So it is the Avengers Endgame Hulk glow-in-the-dark t-shirt cop combo. So let's go ahead and crack this open. So when I bought this, the only shirt size that is available was small. Clearly, it's not going to fit me because I do not wear a small. So it will be going to my older son, Ethan, because he can wear a small and he'll be happy with it, because he, like me too, likes the Funko shirts. So, let's 
open it up real fast, give you guys a quick peek. I'm sure you've seen pictures of it on the internet, but I don't care. I want to show you guys. So, there it is. It is a super cool shirt. I happen to like it a lot. Again, I really like the Funko shirts. It just sucks that this one didn't come in my size and the Captain America one did not come in my size either. So, thank you, Funko. You, like everyone else, are not making stuff for large people. So, let's go ahead and take out the pop. And, all right, thank God we got a minty fresh box. And... There he is, the glow-in-the-dark Hot Topic exclusive Hulk. So now I have the Thor, the Iron Man, the Captain America, and we are all set now with the Hulk. So thank you, Hot Topic. Thank you. Next up, what did I get? This is another one from Hot Topic. So I'm just on a Hot Topic ordering spree right now. So... I haven't seen this one hit stores yet, and it came up online... And I think Hot Topic was running a deal where you, when you order it, you got like 30% off. So it made it cheaper than what it was actually going for retail. So, of course, I had to go get it. Wow, look at this. They even made a sorter box for it, too. That's freaking cool. So, without further ado... Oh, yes. We've got the 1989 Batman vs. Joker movie moment this thing is freaking awesome um as you all know when i've stated this before whether it's been on the geek show or on anything that i've done to me michael keaton is batman so if i did not get this one my argument just goes out the window because i love michael keaton michael keaton to me is the best batman hands down so this is awesome it's in the collection and again, this is one of the most iconic scenes from the Batman movie. Because Joker asks him, would you ever hit a man with glasses? And obviously we know what the response was. Wouldn't hit a guy with glasses on, would you? Huh? Guys, that goes ahead. Wraps it up for Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Um... Who knows where Friday is going to take me? Who knows where tomorrow is going to take me? So I will hit you guys back up tomorrow. What's popping, everybody? It's Friday. So I'm on my lunch break right now. Um, I saw people posting images of the um, FYE Thor hitting stores. So I was like, crap, because I totally missed out on pre ordering it. So I was like, well, I got to be ready. You know, any minute of the day to run out and go get it. So I am on my lunch break right now. I am on my way to the Wellington Green Mall. Um, I already called to make sure that they had, they had some left. So of course, you know, I'm trying to get over there lickety split so we can get it. Um, you know, and then, yeah, and then they have the uh, Hot Topic and the uh, GameStop that's in there too. And we'll uh, probably check that out while we're in there. So yeah but while i have you please do not forget about the 10k giveaway um we want to thank you all so much for helping us reach our goal um i'll leave the link for the video in the description below go watch the video so you can follow out how to get entries you can get multiple entries greater chances of winning the awesome prizes that we're giving away so again Go check it out if you want to partake in it. If not, well, you're going to lose out on some good stuff. So, all right, guys. I will see you once I get to the mall. All right. We are here. We're outside the Wellington Green Mall going into FYE so we can go ahead and grab Thor. Feeling kind of worthy today. So let's go get it. All right. You're out at FYE right now. Let's go inside and see what they got.
All right, let's go into GameStop and see what they got. So we are here at their pop ball right now. We got a bunch of the E3 stuff that came out this week, but I have no interest in that. They got Forrest Gump. They got Jeff Winger from Community. They got the Kiss Pops. Still got a glow in the dark Molten Man, which is pretty cool. Uh, and they got some of the movie moments and comic moment scenes up there. They got a Superman right there. They got the Slimer cereal. Vince, just a geek from the Figure 5. Please just eat the cereal already. I just want to see you eat the cereal just once. Come on, man. Just eat it just once for me. Alright, so they also, like I said, they also got in the police pop since so they got Sting, they got Billy Idol. Um, it looks like a lot of the same old stuff. I mean, I'm not really gonna bother diving through this, and I kind of really just want to see what they got from Marvel Legends, so let's go over here and see what they got. So they got the uh, Penguin. Uh, looks like nothing new. Looks like all the same old, same old stuff. So, all right, let's go next door to Hot Topic and see what they got. All right, let's go into Hot Topic and see what they got. So really nothing in Hot Topic or the GameStop. We are still trying to track down that new wave of Marvel Legends. And again, we're also still trying to track down the worthy Captain America from Walmart. So we'll see what um, later brings. I am, however, headed to the Boynton Beach area after work. Um, the Tate's has a uh, satellite store there. So I definitely want to go there. I haven't been there in a while and I want to check that out. So I... We'll hit you guys up once I get out of work and I head down to uh, Tate Satellite Store. All right, guys, it is Friday and we are out of work and I made it down here to Boynton Beach and I am here right now outside of Tate's Comics, which is their secondary store in Boynton, which, you know, some people know about, but it's a little bit on the smaller side. Um, I rarely ever come to this one, but they sometimes you are known to find the hidden gem. So let's flip the camera around and go inside and see what we can find. Some hot toys and stuff. Pretty neat. Batman and Superman bookends are pretty cool. Uh, the dark brown hot toy. It's pretty neat. He yeah, some cool stuff. That that stroke is pretty sick. So, all right. Well, let's keep looking around. It's cool. We got some uh, SH uh, figure arts figures. Pretty cool. And Joker from Injustice and Harley Quinn. They got Superman, they got the Samurai Batman in the back, which is pretty cool. And then they got some DC figures over here, which are pretty cool. It's cool, they got Batman Flashpoint figures, pretty neat. And they also got a Red Sun Superman one. It's pretty cool. Man bat. That's cool. Well, I got some Marvel Select figures here. It's pretty cool. We got some Marvel Legends. We got Rocket, Gamora.
We got Vision. Cool. This Hawkeye's pretty dope. Oh, it's cool. It's got that uh, quarter scale Iron Man. Is this, this lights up? No, oh, I guess it doesn't. Can't press the button. My man, OG, OG Geek fooling everybody. He's like, oh, I bought my first hot toy. <laughs> that was a good one. Good one, bro. Got that. Uh, these uh, Marvel Universe Play Arts figures, which are pretty sweet. What do we got down here? We got this Legends series Captain America. I've seen this one. I don't know. It's cool. I like it, but I don't know if I can bring myself to spend the money on that. What else do we got? Got a whole bunch of Gundam stuff, model kits. It's pretty cool. All right, well, let's keep looking. We got the, uh, the NECA figure Golden Girls. We got this Predator. I think uh, OG was after that one. And the Broly's pretty sweet. And they have the start of their pop section, which is... This looks like a lot of the video game stuff with the Fortnite and the Spider-Man and stuff, which is pretty cool. We got some of these Game of Thrones. Let's see. Got a bunch of alien figures. That Mohawk Gremlin is pretty freaking badass. And then here's the Pops. So let's see if they got anything interesting. Nothing, nothing interesting on the pops. It's kind of a bummer. All right, well, let me uh, let me keep looking around, and uh, I'll let you know if I find anything. All right, so nothing in Tate's. However, next to Tate's is the Boynton Beach Mall, and that is where I'm in right now. Um, they have an FYE and a Hot Topic in here, so I'm gonna go check that out and see what that's all about. So I am actually right in front of the. Um, FYE right now if the camera would like to flip and uh, yeah so let's go inside and see what they got
right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the music. Um, unfortunately, they were blasting their music, so you could barely even hear what I was saying. God forbid. God forbid we walk into an FYE, a Hot Topic, just anywhere that has to literally blast their music. So, all right. I'm walking over to Hot Topic. Let's go in there and let's see what they got. All right, here we are, Hot Topic. Let's go inside. nothing hot topic I was planning on going to the Barnes and Nobles that was right there but unfortunately I got a phone call from the thing and I'm being summoned and now I have to go home so once I get home I'll show you the FYE exclusive Thor that I picked up earlier this afternoon and uh, yeah we'll go from there so I will see you guys when I get home all right guys and I am finally home um, I saw people posting pics on the internet this morning of this pop hitting FYE. I missed out on the pre-order, so I had to go there to go get it. Um, I called them. The closest one, the closest FYE that was close to me was the uh, Wellington Green Mall. So I went there on my lunch break. GameStop and Hot Topic really didn't have anything. So, of course, I made a beeline right for FYE. And we had the FYE exclusive four. So this is really cool. He's got uh, Minor and Stormbreaker. Um, he's in the battle suit. He's all bearded, you know, his beard is all braided up and everything, which is really cool. So I like the detail on that. And yeah, so this was really cool. Um, after work, I went to the uh, Satellite Tates um, store that they have in Boynton. Um, had some cool stuff there, but nothing that really interested me. And that Boynton Mall, that's, a, that's just terrible. So that, that FYE was okay. Um, and then the Hot Topic was meh. So, I just decided to come home. It just kind of took the life out of me a little bit. So, tomorrow, I believe, is the day where the worthy Captain Americas are supposed to be hitting. I'm constantly watching Brick Seek every morning to see if it pops up in inventory. So keep my fingers crossed. Hopefully, tomorrow is the day. And then, uh, yeah, I'm planning on meeting up with um, OG tomorrow at some point. So, me and OG Geek are going to hang out. And, uh, yeah. So looking forward to tomorrow, and guys, I will see you then. What's poppin' everybody? Saturday morning. So, <clears throat> of course I get up, I check my phone, message on Instagram, hey, Captain America's hit in the area. Fantastic. And that was at two o'clock in the morning, so I was already asleep, but who knows what's happened between now, between two o'clock and now. So, of course, I'm already in panic mode. Um, I jumped out of bed, <clears throat> threw some clothes on, going to at least the two Walmarts that are in my area right now. I checked Brick Seek this morning. Didn't, uh, didn't show up as in stock, so who knows? But I gotta give it a shot. I gotta give it everything I got. I've gotta find this Captain America. It's gotta happen. So, I'm on my way to a Walmart right now, and I'll see you guys once I get there. All right, people. We're here. We're outside of this abyss. 
known as freaking Walmart. So this is Walmart number 13 now. So it's starting to rain. Fantastic. I don't know. Either two things are going to happen when I go inside. Either they're going to have it and I'm going to start screaming and yelling or they're not and I'm going to start screaming and yelling. So let's go inside. Do any of these look like Captain America to you? Do any of these look like Captain America to you? What the fuck is going on? What is going on? I... Ugh. Fuck Walmart. God damn you. Alright, I'm not even going to bother with the... With the um... With the pop, see that's how aggravated I am, I lost my train of thought. I'm not even going to bother with the pop section. I'm going to go hit up the other Walmart too now that's in my area and see if I have any luck there. Alright people, Walmart number 14. I literally don't know how much more I can subject myself to this shit. So, let's go inside. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We found them, we found them. We found them. We found them. Oh my god, there they are. There they are. The search for Captain America is over. He's been found. Unbelievable. 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 That's all I can say. So, after going on my rant on the way to this Walmart, and of course going into this Walmart, we found it. I feel like part of my part of my soul has been restored to my body. So, I got part of my soul back now. So. I got my, or I got my mojo back. So, feeling good right now. It's always the best feeling in the world when you're really looking for something. It might take you some time to find it, but when you find it, again, it's like the best feeling in the world. So, I'm sure you guys, you know, have experienced that with whatever you collect, whether it's comics, pops, um, figures, statues, hot toys, whatever. You know, it's just that, that feeling when you get the exact thing you want. This is great. So now, I am going to go home, spend a little bit of time with my family, work on some stuff, and then later this afternoon, I'm meeting up with uh, OG. So once I meet up with him, I'll get back to you guys. Where do I begin? The goal has been achieved. We found Captain America. We found Captain America. We found this awesome, awesome Marvel legend, which I haven't decided whether I'm going to keep it in the box or take it out and review it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, yeah, I where words can't even describe how happy I am right now about this this thing. It's just so awesome. So, unfortunately, um, OG had something going on, so I didn't get a chance to meet up with him. Um, the only place I really went today was um, the Walmart to go get this. So I do want to thank my buddy Dave. Um, he's a, a friend of mine from high school, also a member of the Master of the Nerdverse group. Um, you know, me and him stay in touch, and he's a huge Marvel collector guy, and he also lives in my area, too, so he had messaged me and said, hey, Captain America is at the Walmart, go get it, so Dave, thank you, dude, owe you a huge grat of gratitude for telling me about that, so again, I'm just so excited that I finally got this and that the hunt is over. Now, I turn my sights again back to Walmart and still trying to find those chrome hulks we still don't know yet when they're gonna drop but i'm constantly keeping an eye out for that 
Um, tomorrow is Sunday, and it is Father's Day. Um, I am meeting up with OG tomorrow, so me and him will be doing a little bit of a hunting tomorrow. And yeah, so guys, um, thank you for joining me on this journey for Captain America. I hope you guys enjoyed my trials and tribulations, my ups and downs, my highs and lows. The sadness, the happiness, it all came full circle. So guys, I will see you tomorrow. What's poppin' everybody? Sunday. Happy Father's Day, everybody. So, happy Father's Day to my two brothers. Happy Father's Day to my dad. Happy Father's Day to my uncle. Um, happy Father's Day to George, Calvin, and Junior. Happy Father's Day to my buddy Glenn. So, oh, and of course, I'm heading down right now to Miami to go meet up with another dad, my buddy OG Geek. So, happy Father's Day, OG Geek. So, I'm headed down there now, going to meet up with him. We're going to have some fun, see what kind of antics we can get into today, and I will see you once I get down there. All right, everybody, so we're here right now. We're outside the Dolphin Mall. It's raining out. But look who I found playing in the rain. What's up, you guys? <laughs> it's my buddy OG Geek. Just two dads hanging out on Father's Day in the rain, going to the mall for no apparent reason. So let's go inside and see what they got. Here we are at one of my favorite stores in the world, Think Geek. So let's go inside and see what they got. So this stuff is really cool. Again, I've said it before, every time I've been here, that Joker bust is really sick. We got some My Hero Academia stuff, some other anime stuff. Dragon Ball and Naruto, got tails in the back. Oh, there we go. Lights just kicked on now. I really like that there, double but for 150, I don't know. They got some cool stuff in there. They got that Ronin. Got that Flash. Oh, they got the uh, the Red Death Batman. That's pretty dope. All right, let's look around and see what else they got. All right, so OG's here. He's looking at the wall right now, but I'm looking around too. And they've got 25% off action figures, which isn't a bad deal. So let's see if they got anything new or something that I want that I don't have. There you go. Now I'm joining you dropping figures. Why are you stealing my content? Bunch of, bunch of, bunch of, <laughs> bunch of dumbasses dropping figures everywhere they go. So... <laughs> Bunch of Doc Ocks. I remember everybody was trying to find Doc Ock. Now there's like just such an abundance of them. I remember a point when everyone was looking for her too. Everybody was looking for Psylocke and they couldn't find they couldn't find her. So, oh, and then we got a Shuri here from the New Wave. Oh, you found another one? Found two more. Two more. Nice. The Shuri's everywhere. Shuri's for everyone. That's cool. So, I am probably going to wind up buying this because I definitely want the Hulk build a figure that comes from that. There you go. We dropped, we dropped two. Leave the comments below if you like him dropping stuff. <laughs> Not doing it on purpose. So, all right. So, I think this is one of the things that I'm going to get. Again, it's 25% off, so can't go wrong with that. And let's keep looking around. So, while he's still over there dropping stuff on the floor, I'm uh, I'm looking to see what they got over here. Oh, that's cool. Got this uh, robot Batman animator figure, which is pretty cool, and the Grey Ghost. And they got this Batman, Superman, and Justice figures. We got the Q figs. I saw saw in your last video you're getting into Q figs, huh? Yeah. It's another another black hole. And they got some cool stuff, but then they also got um, a sale on on t-shirts too. Ten dollars, all shirts for Father's Day. So, being that I'm a father and it's Father's Day, I think I might grab some t-shirts. All right, so they definitely got some cool t-shirts. So I grabbed this one right here. I got that Wolverine one up all at the top. I don't know if you can see because the light's reflecting on it. That's pretty cool. And I'm trying to see which other ones I want. I kind of want maybe the Goonies one or the Prestige Worldwide. I'm kind of set that they don't have the Cobra Kai one in my size. Dunder Mifflin. So, all right. Well, 
Let's keep looking. So we're over here at the pop wall. And I like coming to their pop wall because they've always got some awesome stuff and sometimes stuff I can't find in some of the other stores, which is pretty cool. See, like they got the uh, MLB mascots, which is pretty cool. We got some some stalker stuff going on. In sync, Force Gump, Ghostbusters, WWE, SpongeBob, Jaws, all the Kiss Pops. They got the Sting ones in, which are pretty cool. And they got a whole bunch of Stay Puffs up there, which is crazy. Oh, there you go. They got the movie moments now with the uh, Joker and Batman, but I got that the other day. Um. All right. Well, yeah. Let me um, let me look around, and obviously uh, I'll let you guys know if I get anything uh, pop-wise. All right, so we're here outside of Hot Topic right now. So we know from future visits to this Hot Topic, we're told we're not allowed to film, but I want to go ahead and do a little experiment because I have this very small camera, and OG has this big thing right here, so... We're gonna go inside, film, and see who gets noticed. So let's go. So, of course, my experiment worked. OG got in trouble. They said, no, sir, you can't film with this big thing. And then I was like, okay. So I just kind of kept walking around with my, my little handheld camera and nobody said anything. So it is true, folks. Size does matter. All right, everybody. It is raining out. We're wet. But we don't let that stop us. Rain, sleet, or snow. So we are on our way now to Corka's, the other location that they have down here. Um, me and OG tried to go to that one last time and um, there was no parking, so we couldn't even go in it. I know he's been in that one before. I still have yet to be in that location and that's one spot that I haven't been to yet that I really wanna go to. So we are on our way there now and I will hit you guys up once we get there. So we're out here, we're braving the elements. We're here right now, we are finally outside of this cork of comics which i've never been to yet and i'm excited to go into this one so let's go inside so we're in here right now they got some statues up front which is pretty cool we got this stormtrooper and this punisher one's pretty sick oh that bubble set one is really cool and they got the uh, shira the cable the mega mans and stuff which is pretty neat and they got some pops over here which is pretty cool and they got a couple of those baymaxes and they got some Disney ones over there too. Oh, they got a figment and an abominable snowman. Pretty cool. All right. All right, let's keep looking around. So they got the comic moments, the movie moments. They got Vanna, White, and Pat Sajak. I guess this is all their new stuff that they've got. It's pretty cool. They also got some more exclusives back there on the wall. Oh, they got a Cyclops. I need that Cyclops. All right, so I'm going to have to find out about that. And All right, let's keep looking around. Baseball ones over here. They got some of the mascots ones that I... Some of the other ones. Ah, there he is. Good old Billy the Marlin. They got the Mariner Moose. 
That's cool, I like this. And they got this glass display over here with some of their statues and stuff, which is pretty cool. Oh, that iron spider is so sick. Those Kotobukiya X-Men, and that Magneto is nice too. And they've got pops that run along all the way over here. And then they got this massive wall that goes all the way down. So let's brave through this and look through this carefully. So they got all the Men in Black ones. They got some Masters of the Universe ones left. I got some of the, some of the basketball ones, all the Toy Story, the adventure stuff. That's cool. You got Happy Hogan with the check. You got all the WWE again. You got some of the X Men pops, which again I'm gonna need. So, but. I asked how much they wanted for that Cyclops up front. They wanted $50 for that. Fuck that. That shit's just coming out of the box and going in that glass display. I'll get it somewhere else. Alright, back to the pop hole. Got all the Simpsons. We got the Batmans. Got some of the movie stuff over here and the TV all mixed in. Yeah. I like this cork is a little bit better than the other than the other one I feel. This one's got a little bit more. So alright, well let's keep looking. Let's go find some figures. So I got some some dorbs and stuff over here. And then we got some of the DC figures which are really cool. I really like these ben Batman animated series ones. They're really, really cool. Oh, that's cool. We got more multiverse Batman stuff, which are, or multiverse DC figures that I haven't seen before. I haven't seen this Kid Flash, which is pretty cool. Oh, and they got a uh, Kingdom Come Superman, which is pretty sweet. We got the uh, Batman, but Batman's face looks a little weird. But that. Uh, the Superman. The Superman's actually pretty cool. I guess there's a build a figure for this and you build Lobo. But, uh, I don't know. Let me get it back on there. Uh, there we go. Then we got some Marvel Legends over here. But it's a lot of the same stuff we see everywhere we go. Yeah, it's a lot of the same stuff. And I got some of these Marvel Select figures, which are pretty cool. Bleeding Edge Iron Man and Thor. Oh, that Magneto is pretty cool. I haven't seen that one before. And they got some stuff up top. They got the uh, Lady Sif and Thor, Ant Man, Deadpool. They got the uh, Ego and the uh, Star Lord up there. So, all right. Well. Let's continue looking around. All right, guys, and I am back home. So after hanging out with OG for a little bit on Father's Day, which was awesome. So again, just two dads out pop hunting, having a good time on Father's Day. So we went down to the Dolphin Mall. Um, we went to Think Geek. Um, so let me show you guys what I got there. So they did have a sale on T-shirts, um, you know, for Father's Day. So they were $10 T-shirts, and luckily they had my size. So the first T-shirt I got is... A Wolverine t-shirt which I thought this was pretty badass and I need a little bit more variety in my life other than Yankee shirts <laughs> so for those of you who know me Yankee clothes can merely consist of my entire uh, wardrobe so then they had this really cool Avengers shirt with all the faces together which I thought were pretty cool 
So you got Captain America, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Hulk. So I thought that was pretty sweet. And last but not least, my favorite shirt that they had. I'm so happy they had this. I've been trying to get one for a while. And fortunate enough, they finally had one in my size. For those of you that know me, you know I am a huge fan of the Karate Kid. So I got me a Cobra Kai t-shirt. Cobra Kai! So super happy about that. What I didn't get on camera was um, when I was at the counter, the lady's like, oh, you want to take advantage of our pop sale? They're two uh, buy two, get one free. So I was like, crap. I'm like, all right. So I got the um, first one was the uh, Axel Foley from Beverly Hills Cop. So uh, I've been wanting this one for a while. So it just actually happened to work out. This is definitely one of my favorite Eddie Murphy movies. So we got him in the sweater. And then we also got him too with the jacket and the um, bananas. You know, he, you know that was a very uh, funny scene in the movie where he's stuffing the bananas in the tailpipe to slow down the, uh, the cops that were, you know, tracking him through the city. So we got that. And the third one that we got for free. I haven't seen this movie. I'm sure I'll see it at some point. I just like the way this pop looks. It's just something about it that just draws me to it. So we got Mr. Link in the suit so i don't know what it is i just think this is awesome and i really happen to like it a lot so yeah mr link in the suit and then last but not least folks i've said it before I'll say it again i am wanting to get the new wave of marvel legends that are coming out so because i want to definitely do the hulk build a figure so we were at there, we, um, they had 25% off their figures, so it worked out perfect that they actually had Shuri. So we got her, which is the first one um, for this, so of course as you can see we got Hulk's leg right there. Um, I believe from what the girl was telling me at the counter that the rest of the line is supposed to drop some point this week or next week. So definitely got to keep my eyes peeled for that. And yeah, because I definitely want to, again, get this full set and build the Hulk figure and then do a review on all these, which I think would be awesome. And then, yeah, and then we went to um, Hot Topic. Um, we went to the other game stops that were in the Dolphin Mall. And then we went over to um, the Corker Comics that I haven't been to before. So sad. I really wanted that Cyclops to put in my... Uh, my X-Men display case, but um, unfortunately, $50 for a Cyclops was a little uh, little steep in my opinion. But hey, otherwise, that I like that shop a lot. It was pretty cool, so cool first time being down there. And, uh, you know, getting to hang out with my, uh, with my buddy OG Geek is obviously an added bonus. So guys, that is going to wrap up my hunt video for this week. If you guys like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of What's Popping gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer at mcecentral.com. There you can find the, the, uh, the Collecting News, Marvelous Statues, Statue Fanatic, That Geek Show, Comic Chat with Chad, Collecting on a Budget, and of course me. So until next time, guys, that's What's Popping.